Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. In today's video, I will be testing two Western Digital Velociraptor 150 gigabyte 10,000 RPM hard drives. These are not my hard drives. These are for a good friend of mine on YouTube, and he wanted me to pick them up off eBay for him and do some tests because he's had a few uh, hard drive issues. So he wanted me to run a few tests, you know, load them up with data. I'm going to run Hard Drive Tune, and uh, just give you guys a quick close up here. Enterprise storage, some digital Velociraptor, and uh, I did an unboxing of these. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link below. Here's your uh, power and data cable hookups. So, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have to move around a few things, take some drives out of my tech station, and uh, I'll get right to that in a second. Okay, so we're looking at the hard drive cage in my tech station here. I'll give you guys a overview. There's my tech station, or test bench, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is not strapped down. This is just sitting on here. I have a fan on the back of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the power and data cables out. I'm going to remove this drive. I'm going to take out the two. Um, I'm going to take the middle drive here, which I'm currently not using, and then this top drive, which is my other... Uh, storage drive and this is my OS drive down here I'm gonna leave that one in pull these two out and I'll put the two Velociraptors inside of there and I will power them up I'm gonna run hard drive tune on each of them and uh, we'll go from there okay well I've removed all the screws from these top two drives uh, let's just go ahead and slide them out see there are Western Digital one terabyte our main storage drive and we have a Seagate Barracuda 7200.1 250 gigabyte as a uh, Windows 7 drive that I had it's got a few problems so I'm gonna have to redo that so I could run my Windows 7 now what I'm gonna do is just leave this bottom drive in here which is a another Western Digital 1 terabyte that's my current OS drive and storage so now I'm going to take uh, these two Velociraptors, I'm going to screw them in there with our uh, included screws here, and then I will power them up. Both drives are installed, as you can see. Now it's time to put the cage back into the tech station, hook up our power and data cables here, and then we'll be set to go. Both drives are installed into the cage and all data and power cables are installed. As you can see, only drive I have remaining is my uh, one terabyte drive there at the bottom. The rest two are the Velasa 150s. And uh, all of our data cables are hooked up here into the motherboard. So now it's time to flip the power switch on the power supply and uh, I'm going to check in BIOS to make sure both drives show up. And okay, well I'm in BIOS now. And as you can see all three of our hard drives are showing up. That is always a good sign. But it's not the end of the road yet. So, now it's time to boot up into Windows. And then I'm going to run the hard drive tune software on both of the drives. I'm going to run an error check as well as a performance check to see how these drives are running. Well, after the drives are detected by BIOS, most of the time you're not going to be able to see them in Windows. So what you got to do is you need to go to your disk management section of your Windows. And uh, we're basically in there right now. As you can see, we have our two Western Digital drives here registering at 139.73 gigabytes apiece. And they're both al unallocated. So what you got to do is you got to create a volume on them. So you want to right click go to simple volume and then it'll bring up a wizard here hit next and then we basically want to use the whole drive he can uh, separate them and do what he's going to do with them after he gets them he can reformat them if he needs to and then basically want to assign a drive letter which isn't really that big of a deal we're just going to go ahead and let it assign the drive letter G and uh, we're going to format the volume 
NTFS, allocation size default, and uh, we'll just leave the name to new volume. And uh, we'll just let it do a normal format, not a quick one, and uh, we're not going to enable file or folder compression at this time. So hit next, and then uh, it's going to complete this, gives you a list of all the stuff you're going to do here, and hit finish. Both of the Raptor drives have been formatted. As you can see here, we have disk 1 and disk 2, 139.73 gigabytes in the NTFS format there, and both of them say healthy partition, which is good. So now basically what I'm going to do is uh, just open this up, open up my computer here, and as you can see, both drives show up. It's always good. And you can, you know, go in and double click and there's nothing in them right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the hard drive tune benchmark on both drives. Hard drive tune right there. Let's open that up. I'm just running the free trial for now. And we want to scroll down. to our first drive. I'm going to run the test here and then I'll show you guys the results. Well I've completed the read tests on hard drive Tune Pro 4.6. Here's the one drive. We're looking at 73.3 megabytes minimum, 122 megabytes maximum, average is 99.4, access time is 7.28, burst time is 219.5, and CPU usage is 14.8 see there and then our second drive here is 78.4 minimum 129.8 max 108.3 average 7.01 millisecond access time 210.4 burst and 19.6 CPU now I am going to test each drive doing the uh, error scan here so I'm just going to fire it up on the first drive and we're going to let that run show you the results and then I'll run the second drive and show you the results. First drive has been scanned and as you can see came out perfectly good. Now it's time to scan the second drive. Start that out and I'll be back in a few minutes when this is complete. The second drive is done checking for errors and as you can see it came out perfect. No errors, no damaged blocks, no nothing. It took us about 22 and a half minutes to run the test. Average scanning speed was uh, 84.7 megabytes. I'm sure it was about the same on the other one. Okay well after running the error tests I found this uh, extra test section here. So I decided to run it on both drives to see what my results would be. And here's the results of the first drive. And the results of the second drive. Both drives are almost identical. Which I'm sure if I ran these tests a few times I could get them a little bit different because the results will always be different most of the time. So now it's on to transferring some data.